A Wisconsin couple made an unusual discovery earlier this week off the shores of the Apostle Islands. They uncovered a story dating back nearly three decades and 50 miles. KBJR 6's Natalie Grant takes a look at a wooden boat's voyage to the sea. Over the past several weeks, people have been flocking to the shores of Lake Superior to catch a glimpse at the fall colors. For Lynn and Mike Bebo, that meant a short drive from their home in Ashland to the shores near the Apostle Islands. We went up uh, near Cornucopia and Herbster, and we went to a very remote beach location. It was there that they stumbled upon an unusual object. I noticed uh, a little colored piece of wood uh, buried in the sand about 20 feet from the water. They uncovered a small wooden boat painted red, white, and blue preserved in the sand. I thought it might be a, a net buoy or a net float that had broken loose from a commercial fisherman's net or something and I thought this is a pretty cool thing to find on the beach and uh, when I dug it out and then kind of washed it off I was really surprised. On its bottom, the boat has a message. I am traveling to the ocean. Please put me back in the water. With an address to a classroom across the shore in Duluth. We didn't know how long it had been out there. We certainly didn't think it was 27 years. That address was to Bonnie Furch and Brenda Shell's second grade class at Lakewood Elementary in 1993. Brenda had a friend who made the boat and we had her class paint them. And then at the end of the year, we would take a field trip and we went to the Brighton Beach and we let the boats go with their class. They were learning about currents and the connection between the Great Lakes and the ocean. Furch says that this is not the first time the boat has been found. I think it was somewhere up on the North Shore, like the Beaver Bay, mm -hmm. and who found it, put another coating on it to help preserve it and set it back in the water. The Bebos are happy to be the second people to release it back into the lake so that it can continue on its journey to the ocean and leave them with a story to tell. You know, we like to just find remote places and just see what we discover. And this was by far the coolest discovery ever. A reminder to take the road less traveled. You never know what you're going to find. That's a cool story. Well, Fridge says the boat that inspired the book, rather, that inspired the boat was called Paddle to the Sea by Hauling Sea Hauling. Lynn Bebo says she plans to buy the book and read it to her grandkids so they never forget their discovery.